World War I, also known as the First World War or the Great War, was a global war centered in Europe that began on July 28, 1914 and lasted until November 11, 1918. More than 70 million military men, including 60 million Europeans, were mobilized in one of the largest wars in history. Over 9 million soldiers and 7 million civilians died as a result of the war. The technological and industrial sophistication and the tactical strategy of trench warfare, which is a grueling form of warfare in which the defender held the advantage, it was also the deadliest conflicts in history and paved the way for major political changes, including revolution. World War I was a clash involving obsolete strategies and advancing technology. But what shocked the world most was how they were utilized in war. In 1904, Alfred von Sleifen, a German army chief of staff, was given instructions to devise a strategy that would counter joint attacks. He began circulating what later became known as the Sleifen Plan. This plan involved using 90% of German forces, which all attacked the French. The whole premise of this plan was to quickly destroy the French. Fearing the French forts on the border with Germany, Schlieffen suggested a scythe-like attack through Holland, Belgium, and Luxembourg. The rest of the German army would be sent to defensive positions in the east to stop the expected Russian advance. The Schlieffen plan had not succeeded. The German hopes of a swift and decisive victory had been frustrated. However, the German army had not been beaten and its successful retreat and the building of trenches between the North Sea to the Swiss frontier ended all hopes of a short war. Pillboxes or blockhouses were miniature forts developed by the German army to give their trench lines extra strength. The term pillbox was used by the British soldiers because the reinforced concrete construction was the same shape as the boxes in which chemists supplied tablets during the war. The first successful developed tank Mark I was ready for use in the summer of 1916. Sir Douglas Hogg, commander-in-chief of the British Army, had doubts about the value of tanks. However, after failing to break through German lines at the Battle of Somme, Hogg gave orders that tanks that had reached the Western Front should be used at Flair's Consulate on 15 July 1916. Aware of the tank's early problems, John Fuller agreed that they should only be deployed when the terrain was appropriate. At a means he managed to persuade General Henry Rawlinson to use 412 tanks, followed by soldiers and supported by over 1,000 aircrafts. The strategy worked and the Allies managed to break through the German front line. Before an infantry advanced during the First World War, it was a common strategy to bombard enemy defenses with all available heavy artillery. The idea was that this preliminary bombardment would either kill the defending soldiers or would at least force them to retreat. Although used throughout the First World War on the Western Front, this strategy was largely unsuccessful. Even after three week bombardments at the Somme in the summer of 1916, the defenders were able to return to their positions by the time the infantry advance took place. War powers technological advancement because soldiers need specialized tools in the field. World War I was no exception to this unstated mandate of history. Among its more benign products are the sanitary napkin, because the silly cotton was originally used for field bandages, artificial treatment for rickets with sunlight generated by sun lamps, and the wristwatch. Military advancements include the belt-fed machine gun, tanks, which were inspired by a short story written by H.G. Wells called Land of the Ironclads, poison gas cylinders, and tactical air support. The poison gas that was used during the war was at first spread using gas projectors which would spray large clouds of gas from a fixed position. Eventually, in blatant violation of the Hogg Treaty, which banned, which banned asphyxiating or poisonous chemicals being fired in projectiles, both sides began using artillery shells loaded with poisonous gases such as chlorine, phosgene, and diphosgene. These gases caused heart nausea, heart failure, low, low blood pressure, asphyxiation, etc. These gas attacks led to many soldiers being equipped with gas masks, which were essentially just, sh just sacks with poorly constructed air filters and goggles. Aside from these airborne menaces, there was a weapon that was deadlier still, the belt-fed machine gun. Despite the fact that it was water-cooled, it could still maintain a high rate of fire, and when it was in an, in an entrenched area, easily mowed down waves of infantry. The first belt-fed machine gun was invented in 1884 by Sir Hiram Maxim 
and it was called the Maxim gun. This gun was the precursor to the German Maschinengier 8, the, Vic the British Vickers, and the Russian Puyimut Maxim. All of these guns saw extensive use in World War I, but after the war, they were used primarily for training of new soldiers. These machine guns were primarily used for defensive purposes during the war because they were water-cooled, weighed 60 pounds without ammunition, and the ammunition belts themselves weighed about 6 pounds each. So, when you combine cavalry charges and flashy uniforms, you get an incredibly high body count. All the new technology developed in World War I impacted the strategy and tactics of the war. Some were used in response to other technologies and others were used as new strategies. These are the examples of the new technology that clashed with the old strategies. Trenches were dug underground to provide more protection. Many weapons and tactics were created to overcome the defensive nature of trenches. Machine guns were used against mass infantry. The impact that these machine guns had was that it was possibly the most influential weapon because it attacked mass infantry, which used to be the most effective strategy. Grenades were small devices thrown to create burst damage to enemy. The impact that they had was that they were well used in response to trenches. Aircraft were used for observations. The impact that the aircraft had was that it flies high to observe the enemies. Submarines were used to attack ships. They, they were effective against shipping. Tanks were vehicles armed with machine guns and they assaulted trenches, barbed wire obstacles, and machine gun nests. The impact that the tanks had was that they needed improvements such as mechanics and speed. Barbed wire were used as barriers as sharp twisted strands of wire. They were not designed to kill, but they were critical in trench defense. New communication methods included telephones and radio. They allowed quick and swift communications for commands. New transportations included motorized vehicles and railroads. The impact that the transportation had was that they allowed to transport supplies and men. Gas were used to encapsulate incapacitate or kill enemy. The impact that the gas had was that troops had to wear masks, making fighting difficult. World War I was a global war centered in Europe that began on July 28, 1914, and lasted until November 11, 1918. The technological and industrial sophistication and the tactical strategy of trench warfare made it one of the deadliest conflicts in history. World War I was also a clash involving obsolete strategies and advancing technology. Fortunately, they found a way to utilize both in war.